All right, those were updates there in the Senate. Now, we'll start off with our first big story. Housing ranks among the three basic human needs. Its availability is very crucial to the welfare of every human. Now there are plans by the present government to make housing more affordable to the common man. But we ask, how affordable can the houses be? Ownership has remained an unsolvable problem in Nigeria and despite several approaches, bridging the housing gap of over 10 million houses has remained but a pipe dream. The previous administration had introduced a social housing policy meant to make houses affordable for middle income and low income earners in the country. In the process, empowering private developers through a public-private partnership arrangement to build houses across the country. Despite many hesitates springing up, the houses remain mainly affordable to the rich, who buy them only to list to middle and low income earners they were originally meant for at prices beyond their reach, which leaves many of the houses unoccupied and the purpose of their being built defeated. But this administration believes things can be done differently in order to produce a Nigerian house built to specifics and affordable for Nigerians of every income strata through a housing plan. I know that there's quite a lot of work um, to change the style of how houses are produced for Nigerians and who gets these houses so that it will get to the correct people. There are methods that have been adopted and the ministry is working very hard to make sure that the errors of the past do not repeat themselves. Government admits that the approach in the past created a lot of bottlenecks, but feel the best way forward this time around is a needs survey, which will determine what is affordable to Nigerians of different income strata before embarking on construction. And to this end, the Power Works and Housing Ministry is already in partnership with a private survey outfit and the German Institute of International Operation, GIZ. If you focus on the actual buyer, the actual optica, we may discover that what we are calling presently unaffordable will become affordable because different people have different pocket sizes. So by the time you design your houses, financial solutions to each optica, you may end up building what I want to call cost-effective housing, not low cost, but cost-effective. What is cost effective for Mr. A may not be cost effective for Mrs. C. In the past, I think uh, many um, developers, be it private or even public, might have focused on a market segment that is not really uh, the segment that caters for the majority of Nigerians. Um, but that is exactly what, what we want to uh, change. This is the paradigm shift that Joshua was talking about. Look at the business opportunities within the market segment that we are talking about, say the lower middle class, yeah. for example. The housing Summit is to bring together all actors in the housing sector, both from the public and private sector, that will bring to the table challenges currently faced in the producing houses that will be affordable to all Nigerians. Tai Amudu, TVC News, Abuja. All right, we're joined on phone now by the second national vice chairman of the Nigerian Institute of Builders, Kunle Awobodu. Kunle, it's good to have you on this morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, please. All right, now, now let, let me start it this way. Uh, we, we Nigerians are aware that there is a housing deficit generally. But if we have to narrow it down to the understanding of an average man, just how bad, can you paint us a picture of how bad the housing deficit in Nigeria is? Well, the issue of deficit of housing in Nigeria has become a recurring decimal as it uh, hovers around 70 million housing unit deficit uh, for some time now. And this problem uh, has encouraged the government to come out with the national housing policy, which was promulgated in 1991 proposing solutions to housing problems in Nigeria. The challenges we really have in these areas are poor implementation of policies, inadequate funding, problem of land acquisition, corruption and nepotism, bureaucracy, uh, political instability, substandard consortiums. Uh, these are some of the uh, 
constant problem will be having in this area. And to <laughs> overcome these uh, challenges, we recommend Nigerian for Building has done a lot of uh, uh, advocacy in this area, so many conferences and uh, partnership with organizations or agencies like uh, NIPRI, Nigeria Building and Road Research Institute, to see how uh, we could have affordable houses and possibly low cost houses all over the Federation. And, and to achieve this, we look at the uh, use of local building materials, development of infrastructure, policy implementation. All right, Kule, before, Kule, before you go further on that, uh, on that path, uh, let's stay a little more with the figure of the deficit. How accurate are really that this figure you're talking about? Because I'm aware that the MBS, that's the uh, Bureau of Statistics, is undergoing another survey to give us the exact um, uh, a figure of housing deficit in Nigeria and also tie that to uh, the population explosion in Nigeria where we grow at 2.8% uh, annually and of course that of uh, urban uh, uh, growth which is about 4.7%. Uh, what do you foresee if what we have now is accurate, 17 million, foresee, uh, put that together with the explosion and the growth rate of Nigeria, what should we expect say in the next 5 to 10 years? Uh, first of all, let me uh, you, you should be aware of this, that most of the statistics in Nigerians are not all that uh, accurate. Uh, for instance, people have challenged this uh, 17 million deficit that we have been uh, mentioning for quite some years now. That uh, are we saying uh, new housing assets that have been developed should they have uh, reduced that uh, deficit? Well, the argument also came up that the new housing estates uh, have been added. We supposed to have reduced the deficit, but you know, the demand for housing units uh, continue to rise in Nigeria because of our population uh, explosion and also the issue of urbanization migration from the rural area to the cities that has really increased demand for the housing sector. But the way things are, the growth, our, our growth in uh, building development or housing is it, not all that uh, encouraging to see how this, uh, we could have uh, significant reductions in this deficit. For instance, if you look at it, I think uh, from the time of Shew Yaradua, uh, the, the advocacy was about 2,000 housing units. Then uh, at Yaradua's uh, tenor, we are having seven point agenda, which include good standard quality housing units. And Jonathan achieved over 61,000 housing units. And uh, look at some of the efforts that were also taken by that uh, administration to, to see that uh, we actually move forward in the area of reducing the deficit. Uh, Nigeria Mortgage the Financing Company, NNRC, was established yes. and it was given $300 million by World Bank at zero interest. So that um, and, and to be repaid over the period of 30 years so as to help our mortgage institutions because mortgage challenges they, 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 has been a problem in Nigeria it is cash and carry policy where you have to go and have sufficient money before you can uh, acquire or procure a housing unit it should be, in the developed countries, what we have is workable market system that you can pay this money yes. over a length of time. That is why it is difficult for an average Nigeria to own his own uh, house uh, through this gradual incrementalism. Mm. So it, it is a national problem here.
Okay. And if you remember too, the administration of Jonathan also flagged off 100,000 mass housing units for workers in 2014. Yes. And uh, they also promised 500,000 housing units by the end of 2016, which actually failed. So you will see that we've been having dreams which are quite of wide gap mm. with realities on the ground. So like this administration now, there are promises in respect of in the area of uh, improving uh, our acquisition of uh, houses. But let me tell you, as we know today, the income, the national income has been battered by the crisis in the Niger Delta. So most of this proposal might even suffer some kind of reversal in policy. All right. Okay, so, Kunle. Uh, uh, all right, Kunle, I'm going to come back to you. Levels, 